Hey everyone, this is Erico from Recreated.com bringing you Garage Cube Module 8 Essential Training. What is Module 8? Module 8 is a VJing application brought to you by the guys from Garage Cube. It's a professional application that you'll see it in clubs, you'll see it in live performances, and you'll see it all over the industry that people use Module 8. Module 8 is a revolutionary Mac OS X application designed for real-time video mixing and compositing. It has been designed for VJs and live performers. It's a high-performance, professional-quality live video editing application. It's used in contemporary art, VJing, live performances, theater and video production, this software is definitely one of the most essential applications that anyone that does live performances and wants to do either 3D projection or anything of that nature must download. It's incredible and sometimes it seems overwhelming to learn it, but that's my goal today to really dive you in and be able to let you learn module eight at your own pace. So above all, here are a couple examples that I'm showing you guys right now of what the capacity of what module 8 can actually do and uh, how incredible it is so what you're looking at right now it's a company that basically created this paper mock-up of what they want to project on what module 8 uh, allows you to do is to really project different materials on different surfaces so it's not the contemporary projector onto one square and that's all you get this is thinking outside the box and really letting you get creative using projection. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what Module 8 is and the very basics. We're going to go in more detail later on, but right now it's just the basics of what Module 8 is in a quick video. So you guys can understand and have a feel for it, and then in later videos we'll be able to put more information uh, and go really into detail of what every little specific thing does. So let's uh, jump into it. All right, so first of all, you've got to download Module 8. Module 8 is a uh, paid application. Like I said, it's a professional application, so you, there is a cost to it. Uh, right off the bat, you'd go on to uh, garagecube.com. In garagecube.com, here they offer two different software, Module 8 and Mad Mapper. Mad Mapper we'll talk about later on. But the one you want to look at is Module 8. You click on that, and in Module 8, the great thing that they do offer is a uh, download the demo option. So you want to download the demo if you don't already own the software. Um, and you, know, you can click on buy if you're looking into it and you want to really purchase the app. This is what it looks like. A little overwhelming, a little confusing, but let's simplify that and make it a lot easier for you guys. So what we're looking at here, if you follow my mouse, it's basically different portions, different what they, what module eight likes to call as a uh, workspaces. So we've got tons of different features here. We've got your layers over here to the left. We've got your effect controllers here in the center, as well as uh, you've got your preview what this is, this is the output screen, whatever is going to your projector or TV or whatever it is, this is your output screen. This is gonna be your preview uh, screen as well as here is your media bin. All right, just to start it off, we're gonna do a quick example. So what you wanna do is bring content into this bin. I have here is a sample content and for this stuff, for VJ or doing module in general, the key essential thing is to have either your own custom content for whatever you do, especially if you're going to do projection mapping, you're going to need your own original content specific to where you're going to be projecting to. But as well, it's essential to have a lot of content. We're looking at, I'm going to grab this, the Dropbox, grab this reflection, and grab this guy. I didn't have this PNG, transparent PNG, into the sample content, but I just grabbed it. So you could throw in any transparent PNG there. So this is what we're looking at right now. We've got media in our bin, and now we've got our layers. How do we get all these videos into your projector? How do we play it? That's the biggest question that a lot of people that are starting off is, how do I start playing things? You want to get... So let's start throwing stuff here in the layer. So every layer, we've got one layer right now, and all these effects I control it. What you want to do is you could add layers by pressing this plus this plus button right here, add layers. Of course, you could subtract it, 
deleting all the layers. So that those are the options. Right now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna create four brand new layers, and once you select it and highlight it, you see it turns orange. Now you could grab a any of these files. Let's grab a the actual PNG first. Let's just throw that on. Notice the PNG that I created is a little too big for the thing. So that's not a problem. I'll show you guys how to scale it down. You see how this option right here? You go ahead, scale it down. We throw that right there, perfect. Now we wanna highlight the next layer. So this works exactly like any familiar, uh, if anyone's familiar with Photoshop or After Effects where it's layer based. So if I choose the layer underneath it, it's gonna go underneath this file, this logo. So now what we're gonna do here is actually select this video right here. And now you'll see the background changing because the video is playing behind it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click on the next layer choose this one and I won't see this video because the video on top of it is covering it up but let's say if I click on this and actually lower the opacity you'll see this go away and now that video is playing the one underneath it or you could even play around and we'll go into this later but there's you can go into different blending modes and you know do different things but that's fine um, for now, what I want to do is grab the last video and throw that in there. So now it looks like we have all our content added onto four different layers. Great. Now what I can do is actually lower the opacity of different layers. I could change the, the effects and a bunch of stuff here. You turn off the layers also by just selecting this. So this is the visible, not invisible setting. So you turn that off right there. So that's very simple, very basic, like I said. Now, what we have down here, we could divide things into groups. So let's say I throw this down here, throw this one down here. So what I'm doing here now is basically dividing the layers into two groups, group A and group B. So what this does, it basically allows you to uh, turn on this fading mode. And what the fading mode does, it actually enables you to go from group A fade it to group B. So you can, you're you allowed to cross fade between groups. So what we're going to go over now is a quick shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts. So the keyboard shortcuts is each media set has a number applied to it. So right now I'm going to go to the first layer which was this uh, logo. These already have assigned keyboard shortcuts. So if you notice if I press 1 it goes to this media. If I press 2, it goes to this. So basically, this is goes, these are already pre assigned 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 9. What you can do is actually customize this to whatever you want, the whole thing. So, what the way you'll be able to do this is you go to the mapping up here at the menu bar, hit edit key map, and you'll notice everything gets highlighted. And just as I mentioned, we've got one, two, three, all the way up to nine. But let's say I want to change it up. You could actually select one, or we'll change that to Q, change two, change that to W, change three, E, and four to R. So now that's changed. To turn this back off, we'll go here, edit key map. And now we have the same options, but now if I choose R, E, W, Q. So different options, um, very customizable. But how do you set this up to go to a projector? Now that's the final thing we'll do in this video. Uh, you click on output here, you choose full screen because right now it's set up to the desktop. You choose full screen. Uh, if you look at Siphon, if anyone's curious, uh, Siphon is uh, basically another thing we'll talk about in a future video that allows you to go into uh, it takes this video and allows it to go through other video, other applications such as uh, Mad Mapper or anything like that. But right now we're focusing on just full screen. So module eight brings you this pop-up 
asking if you have only one monitor, you can use Command-T to exit the full screen, which is great. That's fine. Hit OK, and you'll notice this fills up your screen. Essentially, if your computer is connected to a projector, this full screen would display on that projector. So that's the overall essentials of Module 8. We're going to go into a little bit more in depth later on. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to have future tutorials on Module 8 Essential Training. We're going to cover more things in Module 8. We're going to jump into later on Mad Mapper Training, how to map whatever you project from Module 8 onto surfaces, unique surfaces. We're going to jump into uh, architectural ma mapping. We're going to do environmental mapping, do a lot of fun experiments. Also, we're going to do some VDMX, which is similar to Module 8. We're going to do some VDMX training. And as well, I'm going to do some tutorials on Adobe software, such as After Effects, Photoshop, Illustrator. Uh, we're going to have not only me, but we're going to have a couple other people, guest people that are going to do tutorials on Apple software. Cinema 4D, and of course some other essential apps that I love, uh, such as Evernote, ScreenFlow, which we're using right now to record this, and uh, PDF Pen Pro, which is uh, very cool as well. Thank you for watching Recreated Tutorials. For more tutorials, check out recreated.com. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys soon.